guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this Katy Perry inspired makeup look that she wore at the Super Bowl game. It was absolutely stunning and I just had to recreate it and also it's a perfect look for Valentine's Day. So my first steps are going to be doing my skin. I used my strobe cream by MAC onto my skin first and then I'm going to be applying my L'Oreal True Match all over my skin. I want to achieve a really full coverage so I'm just going to build this up with a Morphe flat foundation brush and I'm just going to very gradually build up a full coverage. So once I've applied my first layer, I'm just going to start patting on a little bit more. Thin layers work a lot better than thicker layers, so I just work in very thin layers, very gradually patting on more product. Next, I'm going to be priming my eyes with Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. So once our eyes are prepped, I'm going to be taking this very light shimmery colour from the Vice 2 palette by Urban Decay and I'm just going to be patting that all over the lid. The eyeshadow that Katie was wearing was really really simple, it just looked really natural and all the emphasis was on the eyeliner. So I'm just going to be applying that all over the lid and then I'm also going to be applying it onto the inner corner of my eye as well. Next I'm going to be taking this matte brown from the same Vice 2 palette and then I'm going to be taking a blending brush and applying that into my crease and this is just going to give us the appearance of a slightly deeper crease just making sure that I'm going to blend that very well and that's the only eyeshadows that we're going to be applying for this look. Next I'm going to be applying my liquid eyeliner. Katie had a really natural wing but what I wanted to do was do a wing that suited my eye shape a little bit better. I feel like when I do an eye look it needs to have a little bit of a thicker eyeliner so mine's a little bit thicker than Katie's but because our eye shapes are very different so feel free to do whatever eyeliner style that you like. And the whole trick of this look is this next step. So basically what I'm doing is taking a gold liquid glitter liner and I'm going to draw a line literally just on top of the liquid liner that we just applied. And this is what creates the amazing effect that Katie's makeup has. It looked so amazing and it just looked so effective. It didn't need a lot of work at all and it just looked really stunning but also effortless at the same time. So just build up that glitter and just carry on building it up until it has a really thick consistency. Then I'm going to be applying my lashes as normal. I'm using some lashes that I customised myself. I will have all the details in the description box as usual. And I'm just using my tweezers to get that as close to the lash line as possible. Next I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows a little bit thicker than I usually do. Just because Katie's eyebrows are really gorgeous and full so I wanted to kind of replicate them as best as possible. So I'm using my spiked eyebrow pencil by MAC and just very gradually filling in the hairs. And then when it gets to my arch, I'm just going to draw it a little bit higher than my natural arch because my arch isn't as high as I'd like it to be. And then as it gets to the inner corner, I just want to brush all the hairs through so it has a really natural fade. Then I'm just going to be brushing through my eyebrows with a brow mascara and then I'm also going to be highlighting under my brow with a concealer as usual. Next I'm going to be highlighting under my eyes, I'm using the NYX HD concealer and then I'm also using my light boost on the higher points of my skin and I'm just blending that all together with a rounded Morphe brush. I'm just blending that in as much as I can so it has a really seamless finish. Next I'm going to be bronzing my skin and Katie just had a really natural soft bronze. She didn't look like she was wearing any blusher but she was wearing a highlighter. 
So I'm just going to be applying some bronzer and also my highlighter onto my skin. This is Becca Opal Highlight and it is so gorgeous. And I'm just applying that to the very high point of my cheekbone and this just gives us a really pretty glow. And next I'm going to be filling in my lips with Cherry Lip Pencil by MAC and this is a really pretty colour. Katie's look was so classic, it was almost like a modern take on the classic pin-up look. So this is just a really simple Marilyn red. And then I'm going for my Fire Engine lipstick by Gerard Cosmetics. This is the most stunning red ever. It suits absolutely every skin tone and it just looks absolutely incredible. So definitely check my description box for a coupon code to get a discount off this. And to finish off the eye look, I'm just going to be applying some of the colour that we applied in our crease onto our bottom lash line. And this is just going to define the lash line and also make it look more balanced from the top. Because there's a lot on the top um, lash line, you just want to make it look a little bit more balanced. Then I'm just applying some mascara onto my lashes and then I'm also going to be applying some onto my bottom lashes as well. So guys, that is the end of this look. I hope that you enjoyed another celebrity-inspired makeup look. This look is so simple and I thought I'd get this up so that you guys can enjoy this for Valentine's Day too because it's just so perfect for that. I hope you have an amazing day, guys, and I will see you in the next one.